Victor Gao, who's in Beijing. He's the vice president of the Chinese think tank Center for China and Globalization. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. First, uh, help us understand China's, first of all, their reaction to having heard the contents of this leaked memo and the strategy to blame China. And now their second take on that, knowing that it has been exposed and it's public knowledge that blaming China was only part of a campaign strategy uh, thus far. Well, first of all, there is a lot of indignation and anger in China, in Beijing in particular, about this uh, Republican Party's uh, strategy paper focusing on China. And uh, there is deep realization that blaming China by the United States does not help the United States at all. It does not help the people who are really suffering because of the COVID-19. And lots of American peoples would have died in vain because of such polarization and uh, politicizing of this particular issue. Uh, the world actually can be better served if China and the United States can be on the same page in rallying behind the WHO and dealing with this coronavirus itself. China and the United States on, are on the par, and China does not fear the United States. So blaming China, threatening China, getting tough on China doesn't solve any problem. The Chinese position is that China becomes more resilient once you put more pressure on China. So let's wait and see what the Republicans will be up to. And China knows that there, there is a presidential election this year and things will get tough. Lots of challenges in the United States. And the United States has demonstrated to the world that it is not up to the job in dealing with the coronavirus, and it wants to blame WHO, it wants to blame China, it wants to blame Speaker Pelosi, for example, but it doesn't help. Okay. The real challenge is to get the homework done. You say that, though, but Trump supporters, you know, who won him the election uh, in 2016, they don't agree with you. They actually feel Trump has done a fantastic job and you know the theory is spreading among his supporters and others that actually the coronavirus was created in a lab in China and, and allowed to escape and now they're actually considering legal action uh, in certain states. I mean do you fear that this is something that could gain a dangerous amount of momentum in the US no matter how absurd China thinks it is? Now first of all this is sheer fabrication and nothing can be further away from the truth than these lies and deceptions. Secondly, I think people need to know that the United States, especially the state of California and the state of New York and quite a few others, are right now doing autopsies of those people who died, originally diagnosed as flu, but now they, were, they have been diagnosed correctly as COVID-19. And when more and more these autopsies are continued, people may realize that actually COVID-19 may have existed in the United States, not only in January 2020, but in December, if not earlier in 2019. I think the people of the world will know the total truth about which country had coronavirus-19 uh, virus ahead of all the others, and let us leave this job to the scientists. China does not have any closet, any skeleton in its closet. And China has been completely open and transparent with the WHO. And China disclosed to the whole world the genome sequencing of the COVID-19 virus. I think China did a big, big favor to the whole world by correctly diagnosing this problem as the COVID-19. It might okay. have existed in other places before. Okay, Victor Gao, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much, though, for joining us from Beijing with your opinion. We appreciate it very much.